Hey, it's your girl Kiki Ayers with the Red Carpet Report. We're in Universal Studios for the season eight finale of NBC's The Voice. Hi, Blake. Hi, Blake. Blake. Hi. Blake, what made you and Miranda want to support Little Big Town Song even when the radio stations didn't? You know what? Uh, and I, you know, I bring Megan in on this too because she she performed uh, Girl Crush on, on the show. I think uh, you know, no matter where you you stand on. on uh, on the misunderstanding of that song, which Girl Crush, I think, uh, you know, a lot of people saw the title and and, and thought it, uh, thought other things about the song uh, than, than what it was. But if you like read the lyrics and, and listen to the song, it's basically a girl that's just envious of another girl. And uh, so there really was never a controversy about the song. It was just a, a misunderstanding about the song. And, and, uh, that's probably not the the answer that that you were hoping for, but it, but it's the truth, you know. And I think once people listened to the song and figured out what the subject was about, uh, there really wasn't a, a story there anyway. And I think I think uh, Megan performing the the song on the show kind of gave that song an opportunity. It shed a lot of light on on what the song was actually about to begin with, and there really wasn't any controversy about it anyway. So. Man, Little Big Town owes you millions of dollars. <laughs> millions of dollars, don't they? I don't know about yeah. that. Do you feel like your, your journey with Megan has kind of come full circle from, from your history of working together in the past and then now you didn't pick her on The Voice in, in the beginning of the season? Stop now, saying that! <laughs> you didn't turn your chair around. I know. Now you stole her. Yeah, I do. I mean, I, I think, uh, you know, people cross paths, you know, for a reason. And, and, um, uh, and at this point, uh, I, I now realize that uh, Megan is never getting rid of me. No matter how hard she tries, like every time she turns around, she's having to work with me at, at some level. And so, uh, and, but I'm okay with that because uh, I love this kid and, and, and she's, I mean, anybody with an ear and a brain can tell you how talented she is. But that aside, which put that way aside she's just a great person and a sweet person and with a big heart and and that's why she's got so many friends in this business mm -hmm. she's talked a lot about change and evolving since the show started what is the biggest change you've seen since you turned that chair around i think confidence you know and it was funny because i i watched uh i remember seeing some some b-roll footage of, of of megan when she was working with pharrell and you know pharrell has that way of like he talks to you on a different level, and, you, and when that happens, you say things that you probably wouldn't normally just say out loud. And I heard her say to him, you know, I get in my head, I get in my own way. I can't remember how you worded hey, it to him. <laughs> yeah, that she get, and, I'm, and I remember see, w sitting in my chair watching that going, wow, I can't imagine that Megan ever gets scared. I mean, how can somebody that sings like that get scared, you know? And to see her go from that moment to standing here with all these microphones in her face and at the finale you know she's just gained so much comp confidence that she should have had to begin with but sometimes you need that reassurance from from people and i, I would say she's she's had that reassurance of like a, one vote at a time times a million millions too. millions you know Megan, which is pretty cool way? do you feel like you've changed as an artist being on the board oh definitely i think this has been an amazing opportunity for me to grow and i Adam, you tell me now i got a lot when i came here and, and years in nashville so i think you know just just the opportunity that this is and and to have the coaches you know say the things they said about me and have america vote me through every week is yeah i mean you can't help but you know it, it boosts your confidence, you know, to have that. So. What has been the most valuable advice he's given you up to this point that you're taking into the finale tomorrow? I think, you know, Blake is so genuine, and he's such, um, he's, he's just a, a sweet person, you know, and I think that, that you know, as an artist, if you, if you can, you know, be yourself and that resonates with people, that's really what, that's the connection, that's what matters, and so I think but that, I did that's... But I say, never squat with your spurs on. <laughs> And that really hit home with her. What yeah. That's that's sweet. Who wears spurs? You have been working for this for so long mm -hmm. since you were a kid with a dream. What what kept you going? What never let you give up? You know what? I think my mom 
is a very strong woman. And I think I learned a lot watching her growing up and just I've, I've always had that influence and it's never really been an option and so I've always just just persevered and, and pushed through and you know it's it's just I think when you have a dream you have to you have to believe it you know and for it to come true and so it sounds really cheesy but um <laughs> that that's it's just never been an option to quit for me are you hoping she sings country guys, uh, what's been your favorite moment together throughout the show I think together yeah right now <laughs> I think my favorite you know what, the, the best stuff that happens on this show is stuff that never makes it on air or, or stuff that's talked about when cameras aren't on. And uh, I, I love just talking to her about people that we both know in Nashville and, and uh, in the studio uh, last week. That was, that was a fun time just to sit around and just talk about shit that, that was, happened that it's like, oh my God, you know them? Yeah. Like that really did happen, you know what I mean? Those those are the cool moments because the rest of it is, you know, is either work or you know, it's a TV show, and so uh, the, I think the human moments are where it's at. The '80s duet was good. Though. The '80s duet. Thank you. They're already winning. They they they've been winning all season. It's it's not about tomorrow. It's about the energy that they give us. That's winning to me. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks for watching. If you like this interview, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe for more of our interviews and leave a comment in the section below letting us know who your favorite contestant was this season. Bye.